So we're in advanced steel and we're taking a look at the great tech stairs and railings and particularly focusing upon the railing tools and within the railing macro we're looking at the ending type. So you would find this under the handrails tab here and the sub tab ending type which you would select. Uh, there's a tree structure in here for the dialogue and I'm focusing upon the top rail element here. I'm not going to go down into the sub branches of the start and end at this point in time. So here I come down to the drop down selection list and I'm going to select one that says return to wall. And with doing that you should see that this will introduce an additional length to the rail, uh, a horizontal section in here and a return element and a couple of mitre joints and some welds. Um, with that in place you can see that there's no parameters or dimensional inputs in this dialog. You need to change to the next sub tab which is ending and in that You'll see the tree structure again and remaining in the top level of this, the top branch level. We will then come in and adjust some of the settings in here. Just see a little image in the dialog showing those returns there and what's going on and some of the measurements to help you understand the dialog here. So at the moment we've got this obviously set to horizontal. It could go a long slope so if you were to change that it probably will drop down and just put one on the slope. Um, sometimes this is more used in a tubular arrangement so I wouldn't probably be doing that for a flat arrangement, a flat bar type. So I'm just going to put this back to horizontal and I've got my little return leg is going to pop back in. Um, the other type here is, is the rail corner element and this is actually referring to this joint here at the change from the slope to the horizontal. So at the moment it's set to mitre but you want might want to put a, a formed bent end in there or bent detail. So if you change it to bent it will put a radius detail in there and then the radius box becomes available and you can enter a figure in there should you so wish. Uh, the important thing to note is obviously the, the length. So at the moment it's extended the rail from the original start point and by that I mean this is where the rail actually started here and it's actually extended it out horizontally 200 millimeters. So you can come in and you can actually adjust that figure and that's this top cell in the box here. So let's for example put that back to zero and we'll see that the rail will pull back to this position and actually move up as well. So obviously because the two bits are linked together. So at the moment let's just put the 200 back in there and we'll see it drop back down to its original position we had when we came in to the dialog. The next bit is the next horizontal length here. This field in here, this is actually controlling this horizontal section in here. So if we just change that to 100 millimeters and we'll just pull that back in there. And what you'll notice with all of this actually is when you start doing this, this is actually working to the middle point of the section. So it's actually using what is you can't see, which is called the system line, which is placed at the middle middle point of the profile elements being used. Uh, system line for those of you familiar with advanced steel they'll know all about it but basically it's the source line that you use to model with in advanced steel. Um, sort of moving out of that panel we can sort of come down into the next one in here and it says create side extension so at the moment the first thing you notice is the checkbox and obviously we've got that on Obviously, if you uncheck that, this element in here will disappear, the mitre joint will disappear, etc. So, and it will just go back to a short piece of rail on the end. So, to demonstrate that, obviously, I'm just going to tick it back on and turn it back on. And once it's back in place, the next bit that you can see is the left and the right option. And this, this is fairly, fairly understandable, I would imagine. Obviously, one goes to the left, one goes to the right. It's obviously the change in direction if required. So we're just going to put that back to the left and see it pop back over again. And the next thing which is very similar is obviously the corner type here. So you can see at the moment it's got a mitre. It, it, it could have a bent end if you wanted. Uh, probably more use in actually using a tube section. I've probably not done that for a while in a, in a flat bar but I've seen some people do that. Um, so the other one out of that is, is, is a butt joint as well. And with this, when you've activated that, you'll see the butt joint positioning become available. And you, you can change the bias of that to on the rail or on the leg, should you so wish. So at the moment, it's, it's actually on the, on the rail in there. So obviously, the last bit is uh, the uh, shop welding detail. And it's obviously set to shop. So this would actually 
actually facilitate joining all this together manually so at the moment it's it's a separate element so if you click each one of these the main rail is made out of separate pieces um, but should you so wish to actually uh, make that into one piece there is a button at the bottom here that says merge ending and what that will actually do when you activate that it actually see the weld disappear and the rail becomes one segment hmm. And, and obviously we have um, remained focused on the bottom of the rail, but to, just to pan up to the top, you'll see the same detail as at the top. Uh, if you did want to change the top, you can actually just come down in the tree branch now. So we've actually now in this element here. So if we actually wanted to change the orientation of that, so we can actually change that if we click in there. And it will just pop over to the right hand side. So if you're trying to do a, a rail that wraps around something, um, maybe a concrete wall or something, obviously you can come left to right or you can go the same way. Or if you're coming off to a different uh, landing element, you may have a separate piece of rail up here. So hopefully that gives you a, a very quick run through of how to put a return to wall railing element on using the Great Stairs and Railings. Thank you.